from Cabin Organic. I was just about to make some laundry detergent, and I thought I would put the camera on and take you along and show you just how easy it is to make your own toxin-free laundry detergent at home. Here's what you're going to need to make the laundry detergent, and I will post this recipe below. You're going to need one bar of soap. It's recommended that you use cast aisle soap, but I often use a goat's milk soap. I like that it's soft and it disintegrates very quickly in the laundry. You're also going to need a grater to grate your soap into flakes. And I have this grater that I bought at Ikea, and I only use it for soap or beeswax. You're going to need borax and also Arm & Hammer washing soda. And this is a so clean brand washing soda and that's different from baking soda which you see beside it you're also going to need baking soda as well as the washing soda you're going to need lavender essential oil and peppermint essential oil you'll need 15 drops each you'll need a one cup measuring cup and a spatula for mixing and a large mixing bowl. Again, these are things that I set aside just for making soaps or lotions or that kind of a thing. I don't use these for food. You're going to add one cup of baking soda to your bowl and then two cups of the borax and two cups of the washing soda. Add your soap flakes on top and then 15 drops of lavender essential oil and 15 drops of peppermint essential oil. Mix everything together very well. And simply put your laundry detergent in a reserved jar. I like to use this particular jar. Um, you can use a glass gallon jar or you can use a plastic ice cream bucket. I like to keep a lid on top so that the essential oils stay as fresh as possible. I keep this little enamel coffee espresso mug in the jar. I find that it's just the perfect measure for one batch of laundry. It measures out to be about half a cup of laundry detergent. I wouldn't recommend using more than half a cup per load of laundry because of the baking soda and the washing soda it would start to bleach and fade your clothes if you were using way too much. So half a cup is just the right amount to get your clothes nice and clean without the toxic residue that store-bought laundry detergents leave behind. And I recommend making a double batch of this recipe every time that you make it. And just a quick note on drying. In the spring, summer, and fall, I like to air dry my clothes outside on the clothesline. And in the winter, I'll often hang my clothes to dry um, just on a rack. But I do like to put my clothes in the dryer for about five or 10 minutes once they're all dry, just to take the wrinkles out and to get the lint off of the fabric. So what I like to do is use two of these dryer balls and then I have a face cloth set aside uh, just for this. I put five drops of lemongrass essential oil on this face cloth and I reuse the cloth every time. And I just find that it's just enough to make all of the clothes smell fresh and clean and uh, ready to wear. I hope you found this video useful and are inspired to try making your own homemade laundry detergent. Good luck and please subscribe for more videos by Cabin Organic.